I heard that Dee's taking a break from expeditions this week. Yeah, you heard right. Repairing Case K's car is probably gonna take another week, maybe even a little bit longer than that. We figured we'd take some time off to give everybody some much needed rest. That last Saitama expedition must have been pretty rough on you guys. Tell me about it. Dealing with jerks dumping oil all over the course, busting up Case K's car? I guess in a country this size, you're bound to run into a few pricks if you travel long enough. I guess. But I wasn't expecting for them to target our practice like that. It made me realize I gotta keep my guard up 24-7. Yeah, but come on, dude, you still won. Man, you're a driver after my own heart. It's like winning's a part of your nature now. The only thing that surprised me is if you weren't first across the line. You say that, but it's really difficult to keep winning on courses you've never even seen before. Not to mention all the pressure that comes along with it. This last battle we had? It gave me the chance to see how incredible Case K really is. He never gives up. It doesn't matter how tough the situation gets or how fast his opponent is, nothing pulls his concentration off attacking the course. Even some of our guys were starting to think the race was a lost cause, but Case K kept pushing. There's an energy to him, you know? It's hard not to get pulled in. Watching that made me realize losing's just not an option for me. If you want to talk about pressure, try driving for the D. <sighs> yeah, it sounds like it. After all, Project D has come this far without losing even one time. The pressure on both of you must be enormous. I know, right? Seriously, we can't even imagine it. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean, we? Long wait? Mm -mm. It's weird seeing you in that FC. Yeah, well, I had to borrow my brother's car. He usually doesn't let me use it. Today, though, I twisted his arm. <laughs> Come on, hop on in. Sure.
So, where do you want to eat? I owe you big for the other day, so it's your call. We can even take the highway up into Tokyo if you're in the mood. Mm, yeah, that sounds good. But I'm not all that crazy about crowded places. I guess I prefer Gunma over Tokyo if that's cool by you. Hey, it's whatever you want to do. I just figure it'd be better if we're gonna be in the car. If we're in Gunma, we can drive around and not have to deal with Tokyo traffic all day. Is that okay? Sounds good. Wow! What an amazing view! All the cars look so tiny from up here. I wonder where the highway entrance is. So what's the plan for Project D now that the Saitama expedition is over? Where are you guys headed off to next? Ibaraki. Whoa, that's pretty far away. Hey, uh... I was wondering... What's up? You mind if I keep showing up at your battles to cheer you on? It's cool if you want to ignore me. I get it why you do that. I just love watching you drive. Besides, maybe I'd get the opportunity to help you out again. I mean, it's lucky I was there last time, right? You never know when you might need me. <laughs> Here's something else, you know that? When you get an idea, I bet it's pretty pointless to try to talk you out of it. I don't know if it's because you're young or what, but whatever it is. <laughs> I can already tell you're the type of person who would tackle a corner with no hesitation without even knowing what's on the other side of it. Is that a bad thing? Nah, I'm just talking. Forget about it. We can talk about that after dinner. I'm getting hungry. How about you? Hey, Ryosuke, it's me. I called to give you an update on the FD. It's a big job, but it looks like we're gonna be able to do everything we had talked about for her. The whole nine. I thought you might want to know. Sounds good. I appreciate the help. Thanks, Fumihiro. No sweat. Hey, I'm just glad to have a hand in it. It's a great excuse to pull an all-out modification. Really make some improvements. After this, you won't believe what the FD will be capable of. That's good. Because we have some pretty difficult battles coming up. So we need to lighten the load on the drivers as much as humanly possible. I was actually planning on taking Kenta and checking out the next course tomorrow. Get an idea of what the guys will be up against. Perfect. Just be careful out there, okay? Got it. I'll call you later on. This doesn't feel real. To everyone else here, I'm sure we look like your normal, everyday couple out on a romantic date. I've never been this happy. My heart is beating so fast, it feels like a tachometer with the needle pushed up all the way in the red. I guess this is what it's like to sit across from your soulmate. I never thought I could feel this way about someone. I don't ever want this night to end. Amazing. Driving Akagi in the passenger seat of my darling's car. He's driving casually like he's on autopilot. But I can tell the difference. Every turn is ultra smooth. His technique is so advanced, even driving the speed limit is an experience. It's incredible. There's no change in momentum when he upshifts. It's almost like it's second nature to him. He manipulates the clutch so delicately. And yet he's still in complete command of the road. If there's such a thing as perfect technique, this might be it. Your driving's unbelievable, Keisuke. You think so? I wasn't even really trying. That's what makes it so killer. You finesse your way between the clutch and the gearbox like it's nothing. I I've never seen that before. Well, it isn't like that all the time. Just be glad I wasn't driving like I do in the middle of a race. I can be a little rough on the clutch. Constantly pushing a car all the way to its limits when we're out on expeditions adds a lot of stress and a lot of wear and tear. So when I'm driving her off peak, I like to try and baby her as much as I can. 
Hey. Check it out, man. It's Kay's K. What the heck are you doing out here? I've never seen you on a date. Yeah, who's the hottie? Is that your girlfriend? Why don't you guys shut the hell up? It's not like that. Now get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind them. Just a couple of pricks I used to hang with. I wasn't in the best crowd before I started driving. I used to get into fights all the time and cause all kinds of problems with my parents and at school. It sounds stupid when I talk about it now. But back then, I didn't have any direction. I always felt bored and angry and... I don't know, I guess I just didn't know how to handle it. I know that feeling very well. After a while, it seemed like my parents had given up on me. But my brother understood what I was going through. <laughs> Whenever I look at this baby, it takes me back to the first time he got me in this FC and brought me out to Mount Akagi. As soon as we hit the downhill, he went all out. I'm not gonna lie, I was friggin' terrified. I seriously thought we were dead. By that point, I was starting to think he had plans to take his delinquent brother out on some kind of double suicide run. That was three years ago, and I still haven't been able to beat my brother's downhill time from back then. Not for lack of trying. What? No way! You don't still think Ryosuke's that much better than you, do you? Well, yeah. But either way, my brother turned my life around for the better that night. I'd hate to think of what I would have ended up like if I wasn't able to drive. Wow. And so, going back to what we were talking about earlier, I've got to be completely honest with you. I'm sorry. But I just can't date anyone right now. Please, don't come see me anymore. I... I... Even from the start, I didn't really expect that you'd want to date me. You don't feel about me how I feel about you. I only come around because I want to. I don't even know where that came from. What would make you suddenly decide to be so cold to me? After being so sweet to me all day, you took me driving, we had a nice dinner, and you even opened up to me. Or I thought you did. You made me feel like we were making a connection and that maybe we could have a chance to be together, then you dropped this? I know, and it's not that I don't like you, but I've decided that I've only got enough time and energy to really concentrate on one thing, and for right now, that thing is Project D. <sighs> if I allow myself to be distracted by even one other thing, then I won't be able to put everything I've got into driving for Project D. I can't let that happen. But I understand that. I know how important Project D is to you. I've always tried to keep my distance and not get in your way. But that still isn't good enough. You don't want me to come around at all. It's for the best. And crying won't change my mind. I can't understand how you just watching would be good enough. I always thought that when you fall in love with someone, you're supposed to give them everything you have to give. It would make me absolutely miserable to be in such a one-sided relationship. I wouldn't be okay with that and neither would you. I'm surprised you haven't realized that yourself. You and me aren't the kind of people who can do anything in our lives halfway. As we get into the summer, our expeditions will become tougher and tougher, and I just won't have the time to commit to a girlfriend. You'd get worn down, you'd start to blame me. That's just how it'd play out. I like you, and I think you're a really beautiful girl. But you and I are never gonna work. <laughs> It's better we stop this now. I want to ask you something. One favor and I'll leave you alone. Just let me sit in your passenger seat and take me driving at full speed. Please! Okay. Like I thought, he is 
amazing. It's totally different from earlier. I knew he was good, but this is unreal. Could this really be the end? Am I really never going to see my baby again? I don't want that. He's the most amazing man I've ever met. I wish he wanted what I want. I... I don't think I'll ever fall in love again. How could I? I'll never meet anyone as perfect as my darling. Not as long as I live. So how has Takami been doing since then? What do you think? Is he gonna find a way to pull out of this slump? No way to tell yet. But I will say that it looks like he's headed in the right direction. I'm starting to see a whole different look in his eyes now when he gets out of the car after a delivery. Oh yeah? It's getting pretty obvious. He's become involved in a huge battle and he races on the streets of Akina's downhill every morning. Huh? Against who? He races against himself. Hold on, did you just say himself? That's right. When he's driving the 8-6, he's desperately chasing after the imaginary Impreza that he sees in front of him. When he's in the Impreza, it's the opposite, and he's putting distance between himself and the 8-6 running him down, see? I see. Since he knows everything there is to know about the course, it should be easy for him to spot the differences between the two cars. Things like the difference in speed from one corner to another. It sounds complex, but with Takami, you may be right. By now, after having been behind the wheel of both cars, he should have a pretty accurate idea of how many seconds and how many meters there would be between them if they were battling it out on a relatively long stretch. If Takami is anything like me, I'm betting he can see the Impreza through the 8-6's front windshield as clearly as if it were really there. <sighs> so hot! I guess it means summer's finally here. It was right around this time last year when we had that acquaintance battle against the Red Suns, wasn't it? I think you're right. Everything about the downhill legend of Akina's 8-6, it's hard to believe it all started just last summer. No question, this year sure went by in a flash. It's truly hard to believe that Takami rose through the ranks to become a living legend in just a year. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago he was pumping gas. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I am horribly, horribly depressed. You know what we need? Chicks, man! It's not right for two studs like us to be single for the summer! Somebody date me! That sounds like a lot. I don't even know of professional drivers that will put themselves through that kind of routine every day. If he's putting that much time into practice, he's bound to have made some strides in figuring out how to keep up with the Impreza in the 8-6 by now. You would think so, huh? Yeah. Hmm. I usually would too, but you have to look at it this way. Imagine that during one of these battles, Takami makes a discovery while he's driving the 8-6. This discovery shows him a new line to take that will shorten his time by a fraction of a second. But the very next day, the Impreza will start driving on that exact same line. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's got to be tough on him. You know, I hate to say it, but it sounds like he's chasing an opponent that he'll never catch up to. Until now, all his skills have come from his understanding of one kind of car, but as he improves, he's learning the value of knowing all you can about the car your opponent drives. In a nutshell, Takami's whole outlook on driving and technique are changing. Let me put it this way. You know how there are an infinite number of points in a line that connects two points? Yeah. That's what he's beginning to see. He'll probably start picking up on all sorts of things he couldn't before. Eventually, his experience will improve his confidence and technique. That's how he got this far, after all. And that's how he'll continue. Hmm. Modifications I'll never lose to a Land Evo or GTR. This is amazing. After all the changes we made to the FD, its power output and suspension are completely different. He shouldn't be able to control it so well, at least not this fast. Must be the acceleration technique he's been working on. Man, he's gotten good. This is perfect. You can really feel the horsepower, but it's still just as easy to drive because the torque stays high from all the mid-range revving. Its handling on high-speed corners is pretty good, too. It's probably because of the wide body, but I bet this spoiler helps. The best part is that it's really stable in corners now where I couldn't even step on the gas before. I swear, I feel like I'm ready for anything. Man, nobody can compete with this ride. Well, then I guess this is perfect timing. From what Ryosuke has told me, our next opponent is apparently our toughest one to date. Yeah? Even tougher than the Toto School? That's what he said. Sounds like fun. I can't wait to see who I'm gonna be going up against next. I've been thinking lately, it's about time we found an opponent that's worthy of a real battle. The Saitama area turned out to be a lot less competitive than I would have thought. It was kind of a letdown. Although when you really stop and think about it, it turned out to be a good thing. It was a chance for me to focus on driving without all the pressure we usually deal with. You know, you might be right. It seems like every race we've had around here lately has taught you one thing or another. I'm just glad you're finding something to take away from each one. Driving with you today has shown me how much you've already improved. I'm impressed. Thanks, dude. I'm starting to notice a little bit of that, too. The race in Saitama might not have been our most exciting battle, but I sure learned a lot. I'm never gonna forget it. That's good. It's the best possible outlook. Hey, Fumahiro? Yeah? I was wondering. You think my brother picks the locations of Project D's battles with all this in mind? Probably. <laughs> all of Ryosuke's decisions seem to have some kind of meaning to them. Do you think it's because compared to him, he sees Takumi and me as just a couple of amateurs? Nah, I don't think so. What, do you? Guess not. I hate to admit it, and if you ever tell him, I'll deny it, but I have an amazing older brother. The next expedition is in Ibaraki, right? We went yesterday, checked it out. I feel like I can't lose no matter who I race. And with this, I can show my brother a race that'll surprise even him. Like 
Yeah, the one that's in the way. 